Words of the day, save the earth, Andy Russell. One fine spring morning in 1989, I spoke to a crowd of high school students in Calgary, Alberta. They were forming a new environmental organization, and my role was to give them encouragement and advice. But as I stood there, looking at those bright, hopeful faces, I was fully aware that at best, we were passing them a heavy legacy of great trouble. Not one of these kids would ever enjoy the treasures of nature that I had been blessed to know. As a boy, I grew up rambling and reveling in the wilderness of great reaches, of country on the east of the Canadian Rocky Mountains, where the slopes were covered with trees, the meadows rich with flora and abundant wildlife, and the clear, Cold streams were pure and teeming with trout and other fish. We boys took pride in being able to go where we wished, on horseback or on foot. Living very much like the bears, deer, and other life around us. But now, even the springs bubbling from the rock near the top of the Continental Divide show traces of lead from car exhaust fumes. Down the slopes, Industrial wastes have impregnated the groundwater from the grassroots to bedrock with chlorides, sulfates, heavy metals, and other chemical pollutants. In many places, it is so concentrated that it is dangerous for people and animals to drink. It was this contrast that filled my mind in front of those young people. My generations had let them down. And even if they were willing to work and fight until their sweat burns their eyes, they will not know what I knew. I was so choked up that I am afraid I did not make a very good speech. Not nearly adequate to match the hope, enthusiasm, and courage of those youngsters. Words of the day, save the earth.